friends welcome to ahilu arts channel i'm your host uma so in this video we are going to see how to crochet this tail part of the mermaid tail outfit okay see this is the fin which comes with uh, with one side okay so we have to do exact replica of the uh, of the fin uh, one more time so that we can attach it um, both uh, sew them up together then we can attach it with the uh, cocoon what we have already made okay we will be attaching it in such a way that it will form a perfect um, enraving tail okay so I have done um, the one part to show you how it's gonna be so we can do exact same part next time okay see before starting uh, I'll tell you how uh, what I have done okay see I have chained 20 here I mean 21 so that I have 20 stitches of half double crochet okay after that I have crocheted uh, one half double crochet in each of the stitch and I have increased three stitch after second rounds you can see right I have done increase every two rounds here 20 and I have increased two rounds under two rounds two 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 I have done one two three four five six seven eight sets of two rounds uh, two rows that is totally 16 rows if you feel like you want a, a bigger uh, tail because you have done a bigger cocoon you can always continue uh, increasing till what size you want you want okay so let us start doing this just chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 okay you know we will be working only in the spine of the foundation chain so leave the first chain and work in the second chain from the hook so that we will be having 20 half double crochets throughout okay so I'm going to do complete off cam on camera because I want to know uh, I want to let you know how to start with the back loop in the next row okay so uh, if you can you can pass the video now and you can do okay so it's not about 20 uh, stitches okay you can chain um, bigger enough if, if you are working for an adult size you can always do um, you can always start from 30 chains because this will not be of a good length uh, if the uh, cocoon is bigger okay so make sure I just wanted to let you know that um, how, how to do the method not the exact count okay so that's um, in that way you can always um, customize your uh, product according to the size what you are doing okay as I already told you can always um, if you don't want to do a tail you can always uh, have this as a cocoon uh, make this till the chest part and you can always use this as a cocoon and make a matching hat so that it will form a great cocoon set okay but since we call it a mermaid stitch and that's the reason we have used crocodile stitch to look like, look like a fish we have to do the tail part also okay see I have done the 20 half double crochets make sure you weave in this tail end now what I am going to do is turn my work chain 1 I will be working only in my back loop see you can see the V here right I will be working only in the back loop of the stitch as a half double crochet through 
throw out the 20 stitches okay so make sure um, I mean since we are working in only in the back loop then only we form the ridge here every every each row we will form the ridge in in both the sides first row if we form here next row will be here because we are turning our work right we have already seen this pattern in um, the cuffs the messy bun hat all the um, ridges follow the same pattern we have to work only in the back loop okay so after this since we have done um, two rows we have to increase right that's the tricky part that's the only tricky part you need to um, keep in mind in uh, crocheting the tail okay otherwise it's it's uh, that simple you can always keep on increasing the same trick okay so I told you every two rows we will be increasing right so we are we have reached the end of the second row so this is where we have to increase I have increased um, three stitches in each two rows okay uh, because that's the size um, um, I feel okay because this is the smallest set okay so this this fin is uh, this fin increases okay for me uh, again if you are doing uh, for uh, bigger uh, person if you are doing a bigger cocoon bigger tail then you can increase up to uh, 4 to 5 uh, stitches okay I will show you how see I have reached the end of the stitch now we have to increase right so for increasing what I am going to do is I will be turning my work I will chain 4 okay I have to increase 3 stitches so I will be chaining 4 right so I will be working from the second chain from the hook so that I will get three more stitches one two three make sure you have a you didn't twist the chain okay now I will be reaching my end stitch of the second row where I will continue double crocheting in the back loop okay see if you can see you can notice that um, the ridges in the back side of the first back side for the first row and it keeps on forming in the front side of the second row so every time when you form when you do the back loop you will have the ridge in the front side of what you are working and then you when you turn around when you turn your work then it will be in the opposite side okay so this is how once you re once you completed the second row you have to instead of chaining one and continue the round you have to chain four chain four or five or six uh, according to the number of stitches what you are increasing if you are increasing uh, I'm increasing three stitches so I'm chaining four if you are increasing five stitches then you have to chain six okay so I'll be completing this round and I complete uh, I will continue chain one and do the same stitch till the end once I reach the end here in the next row I'll be chaining four more so that I'll be increasing the stitch so this is how I have increased in after every two rows okay so uh, you can increase uh, I have done eight sets that is 16 rounds of increase and I have end my work here if you want you can come you can do a 10 um, pairs that is 20 rows or 24 rows how many how long you want okay so continue till the size what you want and uh, I'll let you know how to join the two of this and join it with the cocoon what we have made okay so this is a simple pattern you can you have to just uh, chain of uh, four more after the end of this row that is one this is the top part okay let's say this is the top part because this is this is what it's going to be sewed up with this cocoon and this is the end part okay so whenever you are reaching the end part 
okay you will be reaching every two rows so whenever you are reaching the end part you can you have to increase uh, you have to do the increase chain and you have to do that many stitches okay so continue till the end i mean till how many rows you want and i'll show you how to sew it up and continue okay see i have completed the two piece right now we are going to sew it up together and we will be sewing it up with this okay so start from the bottom so that when you uh, reach here you will have the yarn uh, i mean yarn on the needle in this side so that it will be easy for you to sew it up with this side okay so start from the first stitch of both the pieces i don't know how much yarn i am going to need so i have the long um, yarn so that uh, uh, i will not be i mean even though if it ends soon i will not be uh, needing to attach the another yarn see i have made a gentle knot so that it will be secured i will weave in this tail end into the stitch itself right so i am using both the loops okay there is no front or back loop here because i want it to be more secure so i am just uh, inserting in the both the loops of both the pieces so i'll be inserting into the four pieces okay since we have uh, equal number of stitches on both the sides we will be i mean we'll be even when we work on each stitches so no stitch will be leaving unattended okay i am not pulling up the yarn so tight okay i am just gently having um having them sewed okay so this is not the hard part uh, the thing what you are uh, needing to stitch it in the cocoon i mean what we have already done the mermaid uh, crocodile stitch cocoon this is where we have to be make we have to be sure that this part has to be equally distributed in this cocoon okay um if you if you are not comfortable with uh, continuing uh, starting it with the crocodile stitch itself from the first stitch here itself first from the first round you can always do a normal double crochet round like what we have a uh, uh, what we normally do with the um beanie we'll be increasing it with the uh, um 12 stitches 24 36 right so you can always do that and once you uh, find that the increase has been uh, the required increase has been done then you can start with the crocodile stitch round as a normal um v stitch and a uh, double crochet stitch okay so but if you do with the crocodile stitch from the starting itself it will not be a um it will not be uh, look like uh, it is attached separately okay that will be a um, little bit odd um, according to me so i i will be doing only in the crocodile stitch from the starting itself okay so if you are uh, um, if you do the um, few rounds with the um, double crochet and then start the crocodile stitch then you can um, you can see while you uh, sew the tail also it will be easy for you to sew them up okay because working in a crocodile stitch which uh, bit bit tedious but worth the uh, work because it will be it will look uh, fantastic okay but if you if you look for comfortness rather than uh, uh, work then you can always have the double crochet rounds for few rounds in the cocoon so that it will be easy for you to so the tail together okay see since we have equal number of stitches both my stitch has been in the same line now what i'm going to do is i'll be i'll just do one more 
stitch also in the same stitch okay now both my tail ends have been weaved in now what I am going to do I will be placing this in the center I will be folding this up into the front part right make sure your tail end tail is in the center this center and this center should be in the in line okay then only it will be see this is how we are going to sew it up okay i'll be sewing only the ends in this and all the other parts will be sewed up uh, not with the cocoon but with the crocodile stitch inside okay so make sure you have this center round you can sew whatever type you want okay it's up to you whatever uh, um, stitches feeling uh, feeling comfortable for you you can do the same okay it's i mean it's nothing about uh, either the only thing you have to notice is you have to sew it up with the with the center placing in the center that's the only thing you have to make sure okay so i'll show you once i sew it up how it will be okay so as i already told you since we are using we have done crocodile stitch there is no stitch the none of these uh, sewing stitch will be visible in up front so don't worry about that right so continue see once i have done with this stitch then i will be joining this end into the same stitch okay once you are done with this side then you can join this side also okay so continue the same in the opposite side and make sure no gaps will be seen right so i'll complete my sewing up and i'll show you how my tail has been turned out right see I have stitched this side right I'll show you how I'll, I have stitched this side right uh, in order to make this full part uh, um, to be controlled in this single side I mean uh, small side I will be just shrunken this up a little bit okay see once I have done I'll be doing the same stitches with the same part again and again so that my stitch will be secured enough right this is how you can you have you can stitch there is no problem how much um, shrunken this here the tail will be um, like a fan so you know don't need to worry about that the one main advantage to use the crocodile stitch because whatever stitch you are doing here it will not be um, practically visible because the shell will be covering it but if you use a double crochet uh, stitch then uh, the stitch um, the stitch whatever stitch you are doing you have to be you have to make sure that uh, it will it will be you uh, even and uniform so that it will not be um, visible awkwardly uh, in the bottom okay so since i'm using i have only um, crocodile stitch i would need not worry about anything i'll just stitch it in the double crochet round and the v stitch round what i have done and make sure it is in the center okay that's why we have done one double crochet round in the beginning of the cocoon right The only thing you have to make sure is there is there should be no gap 
in no, no gap or hole either way right that's the main thing we have to focus on otherwise everything will be fine so this is how your cocoon or sorry your mermaid tail or mermaid blanket will be once you fin finally done it right this is a beautiful beautiful gift you can ever made for anyone irrespective of the age okay right even though it's a yarn eater like i already said it is it's totally worth it okay because they are gonna love it so since i have taken a large yarn i'm i'm pretty much make sure that uh, everything is secured once i have see since my crocodile stitch i i i didn't see any of my stitch here right if you think if you have just a double crochet stitch here then it will be a problem right so finally what i will be doing is i will be slip stitching sorry i will be uh, finishing my stitches here make sure you are having perfect knot okay even though i put my knot i will not be fastening this off right away okay i will not be fastening this off right away i will just have sorry i will just have this weaved in throughout my work okay that's how i will know my tail end is secured see this this is where the crocodile stitch uh, will come in handy i will just weave in the stitch just in the v stitch or crocodile stitch around so that my shell will not be disturbed anymore okay see once i have done weaved in i'll fasten this off see how beautiful wonderfully it has been made okay so this is how the mermaid tail has to be made and sewed up in the cocoon what you have done since i have already told you this will be up to hip level so it seems to be a smaller one because it's for a kid you can always always increase the size at to the desired measurement what you have done you can see the back side nothing will be of um, uneven everything will be of uh, identical sides because of the crocodile stitch okay so if you like this video please please share it with your friends subscribe to our channel like our facebook page and do post your pics whatever you are doing in our page so that everyone will appreciate your work so thank you once again till i meet you at the next video thank you